What's going on? It's Ryan here with Vision Dive Club. And in this video, I wanna talk about why some divers seem to struggle mentally and run into these roadblocks while other divers seem to just overcome them, overcome the fear, and really take action with the dives. So if you are somebody who has struggled with fear, struggle to really take action on a dive, I wanna give you some levers and some tools that you can use to take advantage and to rewire your brain, if you will, to optimize yourself to actually be there and to be courageous. So the first thing to recognize is that you can't always make the adjustment in the moment. Some people can. If you're a true G, you can get up and even though your body is wired improperly, and I'm gonna talk specifically about what I mean by that. Some people are just epic. They're just gonna get up and they're gonna, going to do it anyways. But there are things that you can do and optimize to be able to do that more naturally. So if you find that you think that you have more stress than other people, like you see them, they're stressing out up there, but you, you're like freaking out on the board. You're like trembling. And oftentimes you may even be on the board and you literally forget completely what the steps are. So that's the first thing is one being 100% clear on what the actual steps of the execution are. The second thing you could do is to, give yourself an ultimatum, right? I know some people, they just don't make the decision, right? So you gotta say, okay, if I'm gonna be in the sport, I am going to take action on this dive or I'm going to quit. And, I, and I'm not here to encourage people to quit, but at some point, you are going to quit. At some point, everybody quits, right? Um, maybe you'll be 100 years old when you quit and, and you quit by dying. I don't know, but a lot of people, they, they get stuck in this lack of momentum, they start losing, they stop progressing, they wait years and then they, then they quit. I'd rather you just go all in. I'm gonna, and this is really the true secret, it's something that you gotta tell yourself, is you have to give yourself permission to go up there and to take action. So a lot of people, they'll stand on the board, they'll be going like this, and they're thinking through all of these negative thoughts, okay? What am I gonna do? Okay, I'm just here tricking the coach. Am I gonna do this? I don't know, I'm kinda thinking. Like there's just these weird thoughts going through your head, right? And they're never helpful. They're never helpful. So if you're able to break through once, once I've psyched myself up and I've made myself nervous for no reason multiple times, there comes a point where I start to say, okay, I'm gonna get up and I am willing to fail. You gotta be, that's another thing, you gotta be willing to fail and willing to flop. It's probably not going to happen because when you're willing to do it, you don't hesitate and then you actually find success. So I, instead of, I'll notice this about myself. So this is how I fix it. I notice I'm standing up there thinking negative thoughts for 20 seconds. Or I'm standing before my hurdle and I'm thinking for 10, 20 seconds and overthinking and I'm stressed out. It, it doesn't feel good when you're up there overthinking. So I say, okay, on the next dive, I'm gonna review the thoughts once and I'm gonna walk. I'm gonna review it, the steps once, okay? I'm gonna jump, reach, pike, okay? And then I do it. And when you, <laughs> that's the most freeing moment when you realize that that's all you had to do was to just not put yourself through the stress. Just do the dive. There's a final thing you can do, and I referred to it a little bit earlier in this video about being wired improperly, and due to genetics and just who you are as a person, I have personally dealt with this, there's something called HRV. So it stands for heart rate variability. Some people genetically have a much lower HRV, and because of that, they are vulnerable to fight or flight. What does that mean? That means that their heart, so HRV stands for the discrepancy in the time between the beats. So the larger the HRV, the larger the variation. So a heart rate with a high HRV wouldn't be donk, 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 donk. It would be donk, 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 donk. Like it, it, there's more varying, rhythms to it 
And it has been proven scientifically that the people with the higher HRV, and there's a way to uh, affect this, and I'm gonna tell you how to do that in a bit. People with a higher HRV naturally don't deal with the fight or flight, which is what you deal with when you start getting super nervous. It's that instinctual reptilian part of ourself that really ruins our ability to focus and be a human being. <laughs> Uh, so I have a pretty low HRV too, and it's not something that I realized until I was older and started wearing this, which is an aura ring, which helps me track my sleep, it helps me track my heart rate, and it helps me track my HRV along with a lot of other things, which I highly recommend for any serious athlete, young, older, I, I highly recommend that because you'll start to learn where you're at. And if you do have a lower HRV, then we need to start to look at healthy lifestyle habits. What are you eating? Are you sleeping enough? And are you training properly and effectively, right? So those are the ways to actually increase the HRV. So again, in this video, I gave you a couple di or multiple different ways to deal with the stress of um, being able to overcome fear. But then there's another more detailed way to go about that. And it's by reprogramming who you are as an individual. And to do that, we have to de-stress. So you might, and I recommend this if you are that kind of diver, to take a step back, get over the pressure, do the other things that I recommend in this video. Give yourself permission to do the dives. Even if it's a dive that you can already do, that's the best place to start. Think of a dive that you can already do that stresses you out a little bit. Maybe you're on three meter doing a back dive and you're like, oh man, I'm nervous, back dive talk. Just get up there and do the dive and start to realize that you don't have to stress out. If you're sleeping at night and you're thinking about diving, take deep breaths. And that's another thing you could do besides working out, eating better, sleeping better, is to be conscious of your breathing. So before you go to sleep, I tested this last night and my, my HRV was higher than it's been in a long time, like very noticeably. Take some deep breaths, you breathe in, Breathe out fully. So as you're getting ready for bed, as you're cooling down, you're literally slowing down your heart rate because generally the slower your heart rate is, the higher your HRV will be, the healthier you will be, the less fight or flight and reptilian nonsense you will deal with. And then with the tips in this video, hopefully you, your diver, I don't know, who you are, but hopefully subscribe, uh, you will be able to find better results and to overcome your fear. So if you found this video valuable, let me know your thoughts below. Let me know what dive you're struggling with. Uh, share this with somebody who could find it valuable. And again, subscribe below. If you ever have any questions, let me know. I would love to respond to you and I wish you the best success in diving.